Hi, I'm Debbie Galino. I'm standing here in front of the Shuanggunk Reformed Church in New York State. Established in 1751, this historic church has been worshiping Jesus for hundreds of years, and it's one of hundreds of thousands of churches in the world today. And it's one of millions of congregations, large and small, that have been worshiping Jesus since his first appearance on the earth almost 2,000 years ago. Billions of lives throughout the centuries have been transformed by Jesus. And he transformed my life. He's still transforming it. We can't go inside right now because all the churches in the world are closed. A virus called the coronavirus, or COVID-19, has spread across the entire globe. And people aren't allowed to gather, and most businesses are closed. And as of this recording, um, in early April of the year 2020, tens of thousands of people have died already, with still more to come. For several years now, the faithful Christians of this church have hosted a Holy Thursday Good Friday service right before Easter. And part of that service is a simple reenactment of the Last Supper. And the Last Supper was when Jesus instituted uh, the ritual of communion. And I was blessed to go to one of those services one year, and I couldn't believe what happened. We sat at long tables with a, a piece of unleavened bread and a small cup of grape juice in front of us. And the pastor read the portion of scripture uh, from the Last Supper. This is what he read from Luke 22. Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. And then he broke it in pieces and gave it to the disciples saying, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And after supper, he took another cup of wine and said, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood, which is poured out as a sacrifice for you. And suddenly, as he was reading that portion of scripture, I was transported into that very room with Jesus and his disciples. I was transported into a vision. I became one of those disciples with Jesus in the upper room. And I could feel the emotion in the room. I could feel the wonder and the awe and the silence as Jesus said words that were not the traditional words of a Passover meal. I was so enchanted and moved by that vision that I, I raced home and I, I wrote this song. As you listen to the song, imagine yourself in that upper room with Jesus and his disciples. This would be their last meal together before he was crucified the very next day. Let your heart open up to the amazing gift that the God of the universe has given us, the gift of his only son, Jesus Christ. Jesus 
Jesus, you died for me. The room is full of sorrow as the master speaks anew. He says. You die.